Enrique. Today, I'm going to be unboxing something that I personally have long been anticipated for, which are the Gemgo O1 Pro and Gemgo O1 Archer Short Through Smart LED Projectors. Unlike those traditional projectors, you which they look ugly, and you have to put away farther away from the wall. These two, you just put them a few inches away from the wall, and then you can get 100 inch huge screen projection. Isn't that amazing? Let's just unbox it. Let's start with the Gemgo O1. Gem go oh one gem go oh okay we have uh, boxes wrappings that uh, beautiful wrapped this uh, gem go oh one dee 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 dee. wow we are protected wow Woo all right so the first we see is what is this let's just uh, put it aside and then we see a quick guide very detailed one. Okay, let's just uh, keep unboxing, see what's next. So yeah, we see the projector itself. Wow, looks so lightweight. To the design of the O1 Pro, first we see four mics here, and this is the press power button. And also we see a ring light, instruction light, which we have turned on very soon. And here we see the archer shoulder through projection lens and ambient light sensor and the two uh, TOF laser sensor module. On the side we see some ports like LAN, SPDIF, two USB ports, HDMI, also the power port. And then we see some air vents here, here and here. And moving down, we see some product information. Yeah, we see uh, the Gemco logo here, and uh, co-created with Dana Wardio and Wonderwall. And that's basically what the design, the O1 Plus work out. Okay, let's just uh, put this aside, and then we have another box. Wow, so many things. The remote controller, also two AAA batteries, and power cord and the adapter. Basically, that's what we work out from the box. Now, let's move to the Gemco O1 Pro. And uh, since this is a prototype, so I'm not going to show you what's inside because it's not finalized. And the Gemco official staff told me, you know, the contents are mostly the same as the O1 version. But of course, <laughs> the biggest difference is the projector. The first thing I noticed immediately is it's a lot heavier than the O1, you see? I can lift with my one hand easily, but this one, I cannot, <laughs> you cannot. So we see 4.2 kilograms, while for the O1, it's 2.1 kilograms. So just one hand hold it easily. Still, we see the archer short uh, through projection, modules here and you know some TOF sensors blah blah and now the ports is the same as the O1 but we do have one infrared receiver here right and also you see the projection module is much bigger on the O1 Pro another big difference I guess is the AI uh, camera here the Gemgo O1 Pro supports gesture control, and I'm going to show you later, which is awesome. All right, folks, enough about the unboxing and designs. Let's just turn the thing on. Let's uh, take the Gemco O1, for example. I will just walk you through all the interface and the projection quality, blah, blah. So let's get started, shall we? By the way, let's uh, check a little bit about the remote controller. It's uh, minimalistic and intuitive. We just uh, uh, see the buttons, you know what's for. Like this, the voice assistant, volume key, settings, homepage, you know. This is like with uh, the lights on. My light is quite a powerful, it's like 120 watt. So we'll just turn it off for the best result. Home, apps, video, 
music, settings. So this is the home. Here you can find a Facebook, Spotify, BBC, YouTube, and Netflix. But first, let me walk you through the settings. All right, this is the settings. The first time you have to connect your projector to the internet. Then the source, you can choose local, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, those audio, the keyboard sound, and projection, yeah. Uh, here you can still see some Chinese characters. That's because it's still a prototype and the English OS is not finalized. The official German Go team working around the clock to refine everything here. And uh, by the time you receive this project, it should be in perfect mode. It has smart features like eye protection mode, like if you get close, too close to it, then you will just want to lower down the light to protect your eyes. Luminance, and this is low blue light mode. Water keystone, this is a really smart feature that I really like it. When you turn the thing on, when you accidentally bump the projector, the pictures will become uneven. This time you don't have to adjust this and that, it will just by itself. But if you want to uh, adjust the picture by yourself, here it is. Just manual adjustment. See, it's uh, very, very easy. And this is screen feeding and digital zooming. All right. And then the video image mode, noise reduction, and motion compensation. I highly recommend you turn this thing on because uh, when you're watching, especially some sports programs, and this you will see the, the dramatic difference between uh, the two HDR. And another one is the color wall uh, correction. If you project to the non white wall, and it has this smart feature to adjust the color to match it perfectly. An advanced system. Currently we support English, Dutch, Espanol, blah, blah. I think there are more later. That's uh, basically the system all about. Now, my conclusion. To be honest, I'm really impressed by the image quality and the sound quality of the Gemco O1 and O1 Pro. But of course, with the lights on, like with my 160 watt uh, studio lights on, uh, the image quality is a little bit dim, but if you just turn them off and you see the image quality, you, see, you will be wow. You just see the 100 inch huge screen just project on your wall. It gives you this immersive experience. That's, this feels like in a movie theater. And in a movie theater, it's not going to be like this smart, right? It has eye protection mode, water keystone correction. Wow, it's really a smart LED projector. I really like it. And of course, that's, uh, just my first impression, that's just a simple unboxing and the comparison between the two. Uh, for more depth video, I will do one later. So stay tuned for that. With that being said, yeah, I highly recommend this smart LED projector. See if you have a little bit more budget, then definitely go to the GMGO O1 Pro. Uh, for my experience, it seems like it has a better sound quality because of course it's bigger and has a 
uh, bigger sound cavity. Of course, it has be better quality. And also, the image quality looks so vivid. It looks like, wow, it's just wow, you know? And if you are interested in these two projectors, you can check out the link in the description. Currently, it's in crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo and currently the best price you can get, so don't miss it. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one. That I personally have long been anticipated for, which are Jim Go O1 Pro and Jim Go O1 